When I'm not creating, I'm making food. So this is from the buttermilk that I created the other day in my previous video. And now we have mini pancakes for my daughter. Okay, so let's get into what we're talking about today. So I don't know if you guys heard of the It Girl aesthetic. Um, it's that girl, it girl. So it's pretty big on Etsy. A lot of people are really into it and buying them lots of bestsellers and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, so I'm thinking of trying to make my own stickers. Now I know what you're saying. You could buy them, but if we want to try to do this as free as possible and give everybody the opportunity to create something without paying for so many subscriptions or whatever the case may be. Of course, we would be using Bing AI. We would use it, but I don't know what's going on. The amount of people that are on this app using the image generator is actually amazing because that means there shows that a great interest. But then when if you want to try, it's really difficult. So like my previous videos, you've seen that I've used Bing AI to create items. Um, you definitely can. It's a Microsoft Bing image creator, and you can definitely create some really cool stuff. It's saying five minute wait. I have no credits to make things go faster, and you can't buy credits at this time because it's a preview. So... so naturally, I figured, let me just go to ChatGBT4 and see if I'm able to create anything. ChatGPT4 runs on the same um, image generator as Microsoft Bing with his Dial E3. And I was having issues. I was able to get a few items that are just similar to, you know, the It Girl aesthetic. But when I look back, I realized that a lot of the stuff that I created was not saved. So my advice to you is if you see something, save it right away because like, look, I, I created way more stuff and I still don't have it there. So after I was finally able to get into ChatGPT, get my images, I was able to go into Canva and see how I can play around with different colors, fonts to try and make a planner to show you how the stickers look. So as you saw in the first photo, those are all AI image generated um, images. So that was of a woman. I love pompous grass so much. I love that look. So I created that sticker and this one was created in Bing before Bing just wasn't binging. Um, the checkered blanket that's also trendy. I was actually wanting to do the different style checkered blanket. This one's kind of Christmassy. Wasn't really looking good. Just remember it's so much easier to just edit photo in canva however it is the magic bg eraser from magic studio you do have to pay for that subscription but if you want this done for free there are free softwares online i shouldn't say software there's free websites online that will allow you to remove the image just so that this becomes something that is not accumulating money um i use this thing every single day canva i use it every single day i don't get paid by them to advertise this. I just really enjoy the software and I know that I can get these images on Canva and use it, but I just like to create my stuff. So and just try new things. So here's an issue that I ran into is I have so many images that I want to take out of here and try to separate them. I know there's a way. I know I'm doing it the long way, but yeah, I was just having an issue here. I'm like, oh, how am I going to do this? Um, so it's trying different ways I can do this. If you know how to separate them, I know there's a way. There has to be an AI tool out there that can do this. I'm going to look into more research. I think you can do it on Photopea. I just don't know how. But as you can tell, I'm trying different ways, trying to be creative, um, to try and erase everything so I can just get the purse alone. But this is what you want. You want to have the stickers on a PNG background and again, you don't, if you don't have paid version of Canva, you can definitely download some images and from your Bing AI for free and go on to a free software or sorry, I should say, I keep saying software, a free website. I think there's tracer.com or eTracer and it can trace it for you. So now I'm just trying to see what else I can do. 
I figured, let me just try and see if I can work around this a little bit more because I am just getting annoyed at this point because I want to have this content out and I want it to flow, but it's just the computer was not computing today. So I figured, you know what? Let me try this again. Let's try magic erase and I'm going to erase everything. So I increased the brush size. I erased everything that I didn't want in the photo and I'm just going to keep, I think I just kept, um, the lips. And you know what? The lips ended up looking weird for some reason. It didn't give the look that I was wanting. So, so that's the thing with these trial and errors here. Like you're going to get discouraged and frustrated just because if you're a beginner and I'm still a beginner, I'm not perfect. I use this software all the time, but like you're going to get frustrated. Like some of the stuff is just not going to look good. And I just also want to say that in the background, you see what I'm using. I'm actually using a PLR template just for making this um, video. I had it loaded on my computer for a long time because child making calendars on Canva takes forever. So I think I finally got it to where I wanted it to be. Again, I would probably change the font and stuff like that, but I just wanted to show you guys this and as to how much you can make and do with your image generating software. So here it is up close. Normally on the side, all those tabs would be linked and um, you can upload this into GoodNotes or whatever, Notability or whatever software program that you use to for your planner. And you can actually, of course, have a transparent background and upload these to your iPad and have it in there so you can add it to your planner. I'm definitely learning more about making stickers, you know, using AI in your everyday life. I've printed stickers and they come out just fine. So it just takes a little bit of practice. There's, you know, a couple steps that you have to do, but once you get the hang of it, you can create anything and it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. I know people are strapped for cash, so this is the best way to do it. So again, if this information has been helpful, let me know, comment below, and don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.